Hi fiends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 27 in Best Fiends. This is a meta level for me because I'm on my Frozen Hills tour. Some of you may be, some of you may not be, based on when you're playing the game. But there are different events throughout, and the only difference for me is that I'll be receiving medals for this. If you don't have the opportunity to play for this, you'll get it some other time on some other levels. Here we go. Over the rainbow. Goal. Five slugs. So this is all going to be about the points. I'm going to play for one energy. Now, I know that for points, bombs are even better than uh, long chains in most cases. Temper says, whoa, check out this hair-raising horror. Let him have it. So here is, oh, oh, I see what's going to happen. Level 27 must be when they can start doing damage to us. So here we go. We're supposed to connect here, but notice he's green and he's got a leaf icon above him. So I think as soon as we do this, Temper is going to say, hold on a minute. So let's go ahead and try this. I don't want to upgrade my fiends or change my fiends right now because I believe that I've got the bomb fiends in place here. So let's just go ahead with this and see what happens. We're connecting the red and we're doing some damage to him and see he's going to collect that and hit it out. And then Temper says, well, that was okay, but check out the hair color. Try matching my color green instead. So now if I put the green together, I get a better influence. But notice that because this is a tutorial portion, I probably, oh no, it looks like I will be able to go up this way. I was afraid I was only going to be able to get those four. So here we go. And now it's going to do 4,200 damage to this guy because he's green. And so the fiend matching him will have the greatest impact. Yowza, double damage. Keep it up. You know what to do. So he's still green. It's still advantageous to me to go with four green as opposed to four yellow. You can see the huge difference that that yields. Or even, you know, five red. Nope. Still doesn't touch what the four green can do. So that's what I'm going to use. Now that fiend is gone, and now I've got a red one. So, of course, here is where I want the strawberries. So let's just double check. Here we go. Yellow would be 750. But red, not only is it going to be 2500, but it's also hitting some of these barriers, which is nice. Now I don't have red all hooked up, but I've got some red over here. So if I take out this yellow, maybe I'll be able to get some red through here to connect at some point. Still not great, but look at this. I take out the blue, it clears that out, it puts some red together, it puts some yellow together. Now, if I do this, the yellow gets together. Uh, and because of that, then the red would connect. The problem is, he's about ready to go. So whether the red gets together or not isn't as important because I won't have him. As a matter of fact, I might have yellow. So I want to hold on to that. I get more points just by matching this. And then I go to the next one, which look at that, is yellow. So here's where I'm going to be able to make the greatest impact against him. Putting all those yellow together. Unfortunately, I, well, I could do that. That would get me 900. I'm going to check this out. Oops, hello. That gets me 2,700, and it takes out some barriers, and it gets the green out of the way, so I can try to get more yellow in here. Unfortunately, that's poor placement, isn't it? Well, all I need is a little bit of yellow to get this done. And then we get red again. So the question is, do I want to put the red together? That would give me 1,500. Do I want to do this? That would get me 4,900. And I'm also hitting red, you see. Hitting some of the red and getting through there. Why did that bomb go so long? Hmm. Not sure, but if I do this, I finish the board and I'm left with a converter block, which is going to get me points. So I'm pretty happy with the way I played this one. Oh, no, I said another slug. I thought I was done. Yeah, well, we'll just see about that. 
All right, what about doing this? Wow, these bombs are super long, and it almost works. Almost gets me all the points I need. So now I could probably do just about anything here. Except match green. I don't have green on the board. Now that doesn't work. And then these probably aren't going to do much. And I never got through the barriers. That's a problem. But I'll do this because I want to save that converter. I really like to get the extra bonuses that happen when this kind of falls onto here. Look at that. Boom. I like the extra bonuses. I need to get... Ah, uh, look at that. I may have gotten my... Oh! <laughs> six away! If I had played that slightly differently, I could have gotten more medals. Now I'm a little angry with myself. But that's okay, because look what I do have. Not too many meteor mites, but I did get three keys. And I had one in storage, so he's looking for Edward. I get another fiend here soon, if I can find him. Oh, where are you, Edward? Didn't find him this time, but they'll always be the next time. All right, so that's how I beat this one. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And uh, if you do like these videos, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. If you ever get this and it asks, how did you hear about Best Fiends? Well, if you heard about it originally through me, or if I'm the one who kind of prompted you to play the game, you might want to say YouTuber, because I have the feeling that couldn't do anything but help me. I don't know how in the future, but, you know, if they want to know, probably saying that you got it from a YouTuber would be beneficial to us YouTubers, I'm thinking. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.